Women have over the years tried to prove that what a man can do, a woman can do also if not better. We have seen women rise from nothing or even manage generational wealth in an exceptional manner that has surprised the world. But in this video, we look at the wealthiest women in America. The top 10 wealthiest women in America in 2022 are predicted to be fairly diverse, including both self-made billionaires and inheritors of illustrious businesses and staggering fortunes, adding up to a combined net worth of over $100 billion. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this and be sure to watch this video till the end. Therefore, anytime we upload a new video, you'll be notified so that you won't miss out on interesting videos from us. Let's get started. Number 10. Diane Kemper Net worth $3.1 billion Billionaire Diane Goldman Kemper will start the countdown. The general public is aware of Miss Kemper as a successful real estate investor and a key player in her family's enterprise. With assets in more than 1,900 residential and commercial properties in New York, she and her three siblings, Alan, James, and Amy, have inherited one of the greatest real estate portfolios in the United States. Her estimated net worth for 2017 was $3.1 billion, and the list of top rents was expanded to include Upper East Side, cooperatives, as well as office and retail space on Madison Avenue. Together with her sister, Diane Cole led the company's home leasing division. Although she resigned from the role a few years ago owing to major health concerns, she has no active role in the department at this point but manages a significant 17% stake in the development of the World Trade Center. Number 9. Christy Walton Net worth $4 billion We come across a well-known Walmart heiress as we proceed through our list, one of Sam Walton's sons, John Walton, who established and managed Walmart, is married to Christy Rush Walton. Although her exact net worth is unknown to the general public, it is assumed that she is worth about $4 billion. Her wealth, however, is not primarily derived from her Walmart stock. She also benefits from her husband's first solar stake. Lucas Walton is the only son that the couple has. Christy Walton is actively involved in many charitable endeavors and contributes to several notable nonprofit organizations, including the Philanthropy Roundtable and the National Association of Trustees and Staff. She has started her charity organization, the Walton Family Charitable Support, and has given more than $1.6 million to support education. Another intriguing piece of information is that the family has financed the 2013 version of Bless Me for the big screen through their production firm, Tenaja Productions. Number 8. Jin Suk Chang Net worth $4 billion Suk Jin Chang is another successful example of the American dream. She immigrated to the United States as a young Korean immigrant with huge plans and a modest means to carry them out. She persisted though, and after finding work as a hairdresser, Jin and her husband were able to accommodate $1,500 for their first clothing business. One of the most well-known retail businesses in America today, Forever 21 is located in the same space. This self-made millionaire currently has a net worth of $4 billion. Chang serves as the company's chief merchandising officer and her two daughters, Linda and Esther, actively support her in this position. The family is actively involved in several charity organizations and fundraising events. Number 7. Diane Hendricks Net worth $4.9 billion Diane Hendricks, the widow of Ken Hendricks and a well-known film producer, also merits inclusion on this list due to her estimated net worth of $4.9 billion. In Wisconsin, where she was born and raised in a dairy farming family, Diane decided to forego attending college in favor of pursuing a career in real estate. She met Ken while he was employed as a roofer, and as a result of their shared job, they were able to have seven children throughout a long and happy marriage. The pair founded the roofing business ABC Supply, which quickly expanded into a sizable private conglomerate, and one of today's most well-known firms engaged in commercial construction. Ken Hendricks passed away in 2007, and Diane took over as the sole owner and chairman of Hendricks Holding. Due to her role as Wisconsin Eye and Rock County's primary benefactor, Diane Hendricks is also well known for her charitable activities. Her three critically acclaimed films, The Stoning of Soraya M, An American Carol, and Snowman are what most people remember her for. Number 6. Marianne Ilch Net worth $5 billion Marion Ilch, the creator of Little Caesars Pizza and the CEO of the sizable family corporation Ilch Holdings, is ranked sixth. 
The 1954 union of the Michigan-born multi-billionaire with Macedonian ancestry and Mike Ilch resulted in the establishment of a tiny neighborhood eatery that has grown to become one of the biggest franchises in the United States. Marion and her seven children inherited a five billion sales network after her husband passed away, making her one of the wealthiest businesswomen in the United States and the globe. The family also makes investments in entertainment, sports, and gambling, in addition to their chain of eateries. Ilch is also the initial investor in Motor City, the largest and most well-known casino in Detroit, which is said to be the most lucrative gambling company in the world and is run and owned by a woman. Her revenue is largely derived from small investments in American Indian nations, federally licensed casino establishments located coast to coast. Number 5. Blair Perry Okaden Net worth $12 billion Blair Perry Okaden owns 25% of the stock in Cox Enterprises, the media corporation her grandfather founded. Despite having an estimated $12 billion in the capital, the heiress plays no active part in Cox Enterprises. Her brother, James C. Kennedy, is the company's current chairman. Okaden is also involved in a variety of charitable endeavors, including nonprofit organizations, senior living facilities, educational development initiatives, and schools. It's interesting to note that Blair wrote and published the children's book Down by the Gate. Her media and automobile business are currently worth $20.1 billion. Number 4. Abigail Johnson, net worth $16 billion. The CEO of Fidelity Investments, FMR, and the fourth woman on the list of the top 10 women in business is Abigail Pierpont Johnson. Her grandfather, Edward C. Johnson II, founded the business, which is now run by her father, Edward C. Ned Johnson III. Fidelity International, FIL, a business owned by Abby, has made her a whopping $16 billion. She currently ranks among the world's wealthiest female business owners. Abigail takes satisfaction in being the only woman actively engaged in the Financial Services Forum because she is a member of the Committee on Capital Markets Regulation and the Board of Directors of the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association, SIFMA. Number 3. Laureen Powell Jobs, net worth $19.4 billion Laureen Powell Jobs, age 55 who has a net worth of $19.4 billion and is best known to the public as the late billionaire Steve Jobs' wife, comes in third on the list. She is a well-liked executive and a very successful businesswoman who forms separate entities. Emerson Collective Advocacy, which focuses on education and immigration reform and the Board of College Track. In addition to her assets, Laureen's wealth is derived from her inheritance of 38.5 million Apple shares the Stephen P. Jobs Trust and a 7.3% ownership in the Walt Disney Company. She became the richest woman in the global technology industry because of these shares. She also started her own natural foods firm named Terra Vera and worked for Goldman Sachs for several years as a trading specialist. Number 2. Jacqueline Mars Net worth $22 billion in second place, the finisher among the top 10 richest women in the world is held by Jacqueline Mars, a 79-year-old heiress and powerful investor who is well-known all over the world. Miss Mars received $22 billion worth of shares in her family's confectionery company, Mars Inc. Mars Inc. was unquestionably the industry leader in its heyday, but was overtaken by Walmart in 1988. She has never been politically involved, but her family spent a lot of money lobbying Congress to get estate taxes repealed. David H. Badger was Jacqueline's first spouse. They had three kids together, Alexandra Badger, Stephen M. Badger, and Krista Badger. Following their 1984 divorce, Jacqueline married Swiss author Hank Vogel. The union endured until 1994. Number 1. Alice Walton Net worth $40.8 billion the heiress to the Walmart Stores, Inc., which has an extraordinary net worth of $40.8 billion, is once more in the lead position. Walton replaced the late Lillian Betancourt as the richest woman in the world. Walmart's three brothers, Jim, S. Robson, and recently deceased John R. Walton, were all listed among the world's wealthiest individuals. Despite being the only female among the heirs to the major money-making machine, Alice Walton actively contributed to preserving and growing the family's wealth while pursuing a career in investment banking. Alice Walton is renowned for her love of collecting art. She is the proud owner of two works that cost more than $30 million each. 
Asher Brown Durand's Kindred Spirits, and the most famous copy of Picasso's Blue Nude. Edward Hopper, Winslow Homer, and Marsden Hartley are three of her favorite artists. Walton also participated heavily in the fundraising efforts for Restore Our Future and the Hillary Victory Fund for a while. Making one of the largest contributions to the 2004 U.S. presidential elections, the details of her private life are obscure. So you see, all the women mentioned on this list are not small and should not be underestimated at all. They've proven to be more than capable to lead and head, not just because of their wealth but also their tenacity and management capabilities. And that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel so don't miss out on another wonderful video from us. Till next time, goodbye.